Listen, your Pentecostals, your Charismatics, they are possessed with devils. They are false prophets. They do not believe in once saved, always saved. They do not believe in eternal security. They don't believe it's a free gift of salvation. And I mean, those things alone should be enough to say, well, wait a minute, there's a problem. Yeah. Right? But there are people on the internet where you, they will lump up with other Pentecostal. Oh, hey, how you doing, brother? No. Look, when I ran into the guy yesterday that said he's full gospel, I didn't call him brother. Right? I should have called him something else. I didn't, right? I, he's not a brother. He's not a Christian. He's not saved. He doesn't believe what the Bible, the Bible's record about salvation. He perverts it into what Amy Simpson wanted him to believe it is. And he doesn't probably doesn't even know who she is. You know, most people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. And Christians today, I have seen truly saved Christians that assume that the Pentecostals must be Christian. And then on the outside looking in, I have met unsaved people that say, well, if that's Christianity, what the Pentecostals are doing, well, I'm not sure I want to take part in that. Fire! 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 I'm saved by grace. Right? How is it a bunch of unsaved, uneducated, unchurched people can look at the Pentecostal movement and say, that's weird, that's wicked, but you have a bunch of foolish Christians that look at it and say, well, I don't know. I mean, they claim the name of Jesus. Maybe they really are Christians. Maybe there's something there I just don't understand. Listen, my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge, and God would not have us to be ignorant concerning these spiritual gifts. Learn what they are. Learn biblically how it should, uh, should appear and then you can know when you when you confront somebody, you say, hey, well, actually, uh, does it apply? Does it look like this? In fact, look at Acts chapter 2, verse number 1. We're going to look at exactly how tongues should be. Anybody that says, I, oh, I, I have the gift of tongues, you can say, oh, really? Does it look like this? Look at verse number 1. And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as a rushing mighty wind, and it filled all the house where they were sitting. And there appeared, listen, appeared, that's visible, unto them cloven tongues like as of fire, and it sat upon each of them. So what happened? The church is together, they're praying. All of a sudden they see a ball of fire shaped like a tongue that basically sits on each of these people. That is miraculous. That is a miracle from God that comes from on high. It looks like they're on fire, but they're not. It's shaped in a tongue. What are you going to do? It's like, uh, you know, bro, there's a tongue on your head. It's made of fire. Yeah, I know. It's God, right? Now, have you ever seen that today? Now, I have seen false prophets who, they'll get the microphone and, Ooh, you hear that mighty rushing wind? Oh, we all felt something. Yeah, it's called the sound system. Right? That's not God. That is deception what the Pentecostals do. And they're trying to trick people. And they're the ones that will literally pass buckets around asking for your money. Or do it again. Oh, just do it again, you know. And look, look what he says in verse number four. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with other tongues. I want you to underline, if you underline in your Bible, I want you to underline the word other. Other. Other is a word that means it's a comparing word, right? So, it, you know, you can't just say any old noise. Well, that wouldn't fit, right? They spoke with one language, and all of a sudden they're speaking with another language, right. right? It wasn't just some mysterious language that nobody understood. That is not tongues according to the Bible. It is a discernible language meant for preaching the gospel that somebody could understand, that somebody could listen to and learn about the Word of God. Learn about Jesus Christ. So look, it says, Other tongues, as the Spirit gave them utterance. To utter is to make noise. That's to say something. So they're, they're talking, and then all of a sudden, they're speaking in another language. As if I began speaking in Spanish, and our Spanish speakers just continue to understand it. That, that would be the miracle that's happening here.